So Costa, a, a P8 in, in race one at Silverson, you got a, a five second penalty for the, for the track limits, but still good points to start the weekend. Yeah, it's good points. A um, bit disappointing from the start. Uh, it went back to fifth from starting third, so it's a bit disappointing race. But we've got tomorrow to start third again and another chance at it. Um, and as you said, good points. Still still finished. A lot of people didn't, so it's just good to, to get those points as well, yeah. And what, what corner did you go over the limit for the, the track limits penalty and how much of a, uh, a fine margin was it out there? Yeah, it was a bit of unfortunate. Um, it was very close in the spray and it was down at Brooklyn's corner. I, was, I had two offences before, but it was just one that was actually wasn't intentional. It actually, just ran off, lost quite a bit of time from it. But unfortunately, the, the rules are the rules. Um, you get track limits, you get track limits. So, but I think tomorrow um, it should be a bit better for sure. And it's been a bit of a mixed feeling up and down the paddock of whether the, the race should have been red flagged or not. What was your take on that? Oh, I think um, yeah, the start was very dangerous. Like it, it was completely blind from turn one all the way to after Stowe Corner. So, yeah, yeah, I think it was good to get racing, but I was also it was a bit very, very dangerous. So I'm not an expert on it, but yeah, I'd say it was a bit too wet to, to be racing. But every, I think a lot of people survived, some people didn't, but um, yeah, it's just good. And um, what was it like uh, trying to follow cars up there with the, the visibility? Oh, there was, I'd say for the first six, seven laps, there was nothing. Um, you were just happy when you got to a corner when your spray actually disappeared. But as soon as you got on the straights, it was just trying to find some sort of vision. Um, you know, almost sometimes counting between after, after points, one, two, three, four for braking, that sort of thing. So very, very difficult, very dangerous conditions, but also great learning for me as I'm so, I'm the youngest on the grid. First ever. This is my first proper season in a car, so it's um, a good experience. And what's it like being the, the youngest on the grid and, and gathering with that experience? Yeah, it's obviously difficult. You get a couple of steps behind. Um, you get to a race meeting. You don't quite know things how things work. But I think I've got a great team. Ronan and Carl have been amazing. They've been really good. Helped me learn as much as possible, um, and that's just been shown um, from the first race. We were just struggling for the top ten now. This race we qualified P3, so it's you know, going forward great, and I think the rest of the season is going to be really exciting. And what are you expecting uh, um, from the two races tomorrow? I think tomorrow it'd be good for a podium first race. Obviously starting P3 uh, on the racing line as a start, so I think it'd be great just to be up on the podium. Um, I think our pace is, is there for it. It's just a bit of racecraft, a bit of experience, but if I can get my head down and focus what's in front, I think I can do that. And Obviously, reverse grid, that's a whole other can. It's a, it's a crazy race, pretty much. I think we're starting at 18th or something like that, so it'll be, it'll be difficult, but it'll be good fun. And I think it's just gain as many positions as possible for me. If I can just have a good start and yeah, gain, just get enough points just to keep ahead, it'd be good. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you Great much. to meet you.